When rigging and animating a molecule, it's sometimes necessary to break up the single model into separate models for each of its functional domains. In this video, I'll show you how to select pieces of a molecule and save them in their own PDB files. Let's look at the PDB file 4MMZ as an example. 4MMZ contains the extracellular domain of integrin alpha V beta 3 in a folded conformation. Integrins are expressed on a cell's surface and help attach the cell to the extracellular matrix. When integrins are folded, they are inactive, but upon activation, they unfold to bind to an extracellular matrix protein such as fibronectin. Each model in a PDB file is labeled as a separate chain. This PDB file, 4MMZ, contains three chains, chain A, B, and C. If you look at the PDB summary page for 4MMZ on the PDB website, you'll find that chain A is the alpha V protein, chain B is the beta 3 protein, and chain C is a fragment of fibronectin. In VMD, let's change the representation from a stick model to a ribbon model so we can see each chain more clearly. In the VMD main menu, click Graphics, Representation to open the Graphical Representations menu set. Click the drop-down menu under Drawing Method and choose New Cartoon. Next, choose the drop-down menu under Coloring Method and choose Chain to color each chain a different color. We can't undo actions in VMD, so it's a good idea to save files often in case we want to go back to previous states. Let's save a new VMD session file by clicking File, Save Visualization State. Choose a file name and save location and click Save. Let's take a look at Model 4MMZ that I imported into Maya using the Molecular Maya plugin. This is the part of the alpha chain that sits in the membrane, and the head of the integrin swings up to unfold. We wouldn't have any problems animating the alpha chain, but let's look at the beta chain. This is the base of the extracellular domain of the integrin that sits in the membrane, and this is the head, and it unfolds this way. But see how the head and base are fused together in the mesh? That's because the atoms are so close to one another in the structure that the meshing algorithm treats them as a continuous surface. We won't be able to rig the mesh as it is, but we can separate the domains in VMD first before importing and rigging and animating the mesh in Maya. Back in VMD, we'll select the two halves of the integrin beta chain separately and save them in their own PDB files. The first half consists of amino acids 1 to 475, and the second half consists of amino acids 476 to 716. In the Graphical Representations window, in the Selected Atoms box, type Chain B and Res ID 1 to 475, and click Enter. Click Create Rep to make a new selection placeholder, and change the numbers to 476 to 716, and click Enter again. Now, the two parts of Chain B are in two separate selections. You can confirm this by changing the representation of one of the selections. Save each selection in a new PDB file by going to the VMD main menu. Make sure 4MMZ is selected and click File, Save Coordinates. Save the first half of the beta chain by clicking on the drop-down menu next to Selected Atoms and choose the first selection. Click Save. Choose a file name and a save location, and click Save again. Repeat this process to save the second half. Click File, Save Coordinates. Save the second half of the beta chain by clicking on the drop-down menu next to Selected Atoms, and choose the second selection. Click Save. Choose a file name and a save location, and click Save again. I'll import the new PDB files into Maya. Now the integrin beta chain is separated into two pieces that can be rigged and animated.